Hi everybody, this is Ty. Welcome back. And uh, what I'm here today to do is uh, go over uh, how I built this Virtual Boy cabinet. I never expected over 50,000 views on the last video that I posted. And in the process, I got a lot of people asking me how I built certain things on this. Um, this video, I'm going to show how I built on the back of the cabinet. Right here. The serial number plate and the dedication plate. Um, these two are really simple to make once you have the right equipment. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to try to replicate the aluminum tag on the back of a Nintendo cabinet. Um, now those are, are actually like, I don't know exactly how they're made, but they, they're painted directly on the aluminum, either by silk screen or some other method. And what we're going to do is we're going to get around that with a little um, few tricks. The first thing you're going to need is some materials. Um, what, what I have here is a big sheet of aluminum flashing. This is a 20 inch by 10 foot roll and I use that for my uh, Xbox arcade cabinet as well for the control panel. And uh, this stuff's great. It's very, it's very thin. I think it's slightly thicker than what, what you'd say like aluminum can so it's uh, easier to cut. You can actually cut this with scissors. Now I have some thick, thicker aluminum but it's more difficult to cut so you can't get as clean of a cut and once it's on, you can't tell the difference, and it's, it's plenty thick, I, you know, it's not like it's paper thin. Um, the second thing you're going to need is, uh, these are uh, clear shipping labels, a whole sheet of paper. This is what they look like, and they can be used in a laser printer or on an inkjet. Now, I have a laser printer. Um, they split right in the middle, and it's just like an, it's just an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Um, these are actually made by Avery. I bought them at Staples on clearance. But if you're looking to buy them, they're uh, 8665 is the, is the actual item number. Um, I think you can get them at Walmart. And the final thing you're going to need is this. This is uh, Krylon Triple Thick Clear Glaze. And this is some amazing stuff. You can use it for a lot of things. And uh, what this does is we'll put a nice, thick, gloss finish on top and will protect the, uh, the print on top. Okay, what you're looking at here is my computer. And I have a GIMP open. This is in Linux. And I've drawn up how I want the serial number plate to look. And what you're looking at here, um, I use the um, Pretendo font here for the lo logo text. And, um, you know, it's pretty basic. Just draw what you want to have on your plate. And I will prov I'll actually put this on my website, too, if you want to have this actual image. Now, right here, you're seeing the serial number is set for 0001, and let's change this one to a 2. So now, as if we were making the second one. All right, so we want to print this off. So I'm going to load in the actual paper, and I'm going to now select the print. And so now I do the, I want to take the image here. I'm just going to slide it to about there on the page. Now I have it set for 100%. Now I created this image at 600 DPI. Um, I, if you make it too, too high of a DPI, while your printer may be able to handle it, your computer might have a hard time dealing with such a large image. But uh, here's the actual settings here. Again, I'm going to provide this image for anybody who wants it. It's a GIMP XCF file. And uh, so we just, uh, all we got to do now is just click the print, and this will print out in this area here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, here's the Gunpei um, image as well, and I'm going to print this one out as well, but when, I'm, when I go to print it, some on the wrong menu, file print, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to print it down here so I can get two prints out of the one sheet, and I'll still have half left. So, now it's time to print. There we go, there's one down. Well, I made a little boo-boo here. I thought I was recording and I put these 
labels on without actually recording anything. But fortunately, I have the, the one label that I messed up that didn't have an outline on it. So I'll show you how you do this. So you just peel the label, you get it started here, like this. And then once you've got it, you want to uh, have it quite right there. Square. I want it to be square. Well, it doesn't really matter, 100%. But now I've got it on here. I want to slowly rub this label on as to not get any air bubbles. You see, now I've got it on and there's no air bubbles. And that's why I did the same thing with these two here, but I didn't record it. But now we've got it here. And you'll notice there's like a matte finish to this. Um, so this is where the, uh, the uh, triple thick will come in. And we're going to paint these up. And then when we're done, you will, you'll see the actual aluminum finish straight through it much better than you would just like this. Okay, we're ready to uh, put on the Krylon paint here. I've just put a pad or mat underneath this to not get my table coated. And uh, just put it on nice and even. Now when you're looking at this, you're seeing, like, oh, it's all cloudy and milky right now. But this will dry clear, and uh, I'll probably put another coat on first, though. But I gotta let this dry. Okay, so the clear coat now is dried. And all we have to do now is to just cut these out. And what we do is just use a regular pair of scissors and cut just on the inside. the line. It'll be a little easier if I just cut it out first. There we go. I think these are, these are going to be a rough cut. They're better using tin snips because they give a smoother cut and won't bend the metal as much. I'm just cutting this a little on the fast side so that this video is shorter. But actually, it would take a little more time when I'm cutting a real one of these. I'm just giving you a rough cut of this. So there you go. Um, this is a little bit rushed for the video, um, so I got a little bit, probably a little more clear coat than I'd like to have on there. But as you can see, the aluminum shows through. Another thing I did, which you won't be able to see in the camera because it's just too small, is I put a dot on the radius of the circles in the corners so I know exactly where to drill the hole when I mount the plate on the cabinet. So you do the same thing with the uh, dedication plate. Um, I don't want to make a video that's not necessarily long but there you go. There's your uh, serial number plate right there. Thank you for watching everybody.